Another setback in the trial of a man accused of murdering an Alliance teen whose body was never found. Yeah, a jury was nearly seated this morning in the retrial of Robert Moore, but then the court was forced to go back to the drawing board. Sydney Canty joins us now with the unusual update in this unique case. The court believed they had a jury set and ready to go today in the trial of 53-year-old Robert Moore. You may remember him as the man who is accused of killing 16-year-old Glenna Jean White back in 2009. Now today there was uh, some concerns raised about one of the jurors being impartial. And so as a result of that, the court now has to redo that entire process of selecting a whole new jury. Now, White went missing again back in 2009 after being last seen with Moore. Uh, Witnesses say he came back covered in blood and back of June of 2022 Moore went on trial for this case, but it was declared a mistrial when the jury found Moore not guilty of aggravated murder and could not reach a unanimous verdict on the murder count. Now this time around the prosecution is again trying to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Moore is guilty on the murder charge, but it's a bit of a gamble. I mean, as far as we know, there's no new evidence from the last time he was tried in this case and because White's body was never found, the prosecution has to convince the jury that not only is she dead, but that Moore is the one who did it. Now, he did serve jail time for a similar case a while back where he admitted to uh, beating and killing a woman for rejecting his sexual advances. And jury selection for this case will uh, continue on October 10th. That's next Tuesday right here at the Mahoney County Courthouse. In Youngstown, with more local news, I'm Sydney Canty.